Today is an amazing day where we have over 50 teens giving back to our communities. We're here today to help sort, clean, and distribute shoes to teenagers and young people who are homeless but are not showing up as so in the school system. Gently worn and new style, cleaning them, making them look nice, putting new shoelaces in them, putting them in the box, decorating the box, and putting a little card on there. And then we're going to give them to the teens who are in need. Today, I wanted to make sure that I congratulate the youth that actually came out to support in this socks and sneakers event, but also make sure that we take the opportunity to talk about empathy, appreciation, valuing other people and walking in other people's shoes so that they understand the experience of others. Many people can't really buy shoes nowadays because it's usually really expensive. I think paving the way forward is the way forward. And I think by instilling that in our teens at this young, crucial age is the only way to secure a successful future. I know for me, I just like to be here so that the kids don't feel like they're being bossed around. They like having somebody closer to their age, a little more personal. There's people who are less fortunate and it doesn't matter how much you have, you can give. So you're never too busy to give back everybody is in need of something. If it's just a, an ear to listen, a shoulder to cry on, just to be there for support. You're never too busy to give that 10 minutes, 20 minutes, four hours, three hours, whatever, just be there. Everybody comes from a different circumstance. You can live in the same area and still grow up completely differently. Not everybody has two parents, not everybody has a lot of income. So you can give and you don't have to you know, tear somebody down. There's actual things that can happen and your decisions do impact you. So a lot of people in need of shoes and clothes and it's like unlikely for them to be walking around with no shoes on their feet because like they could get glass in their feet and other stuff like that. And right now we have over 85 teens and their families who have submitted a requisition saying that they would like to receive gently worn sneakers. It's very important to give back no matter what age you are because you can always be on the other side of the issue. Something that really left an impression on me was just the amount of shoes. Some people donated new shoes. I think we had north of 200 shoes. I didn't really expect for that much people to bring shoes. People didn't just give us scraps. They gave us something they knew that someone else would appreciate. And I think that's the biggest takeaway here. And then we have a successful turnout. We have over 40 kids here that are volunteering to clean these sneakers, box them up and give them to the those in need. We even have parents who didn't want to leave. They said, no, we're not going to be left behind. They understand the importance of supporting the community. It shows that it's a lot of people that's trying to give to people that's in need. It's still faith and people are still looking to give out and help out. I think it's important to get young people involved in community service projects like this because it helps to set the foundation for the values that they have as they move through life. It helps them understand that they have power in giving back and that they can really change their community. And finally, it really shows other young people that young people care about them. And so, I, like I told the young people here today, every movement in history was really started by young people. And so every problem that we have can really be worked through, can be solved by the current generation. Many of these teens came in, they didn't really want to be here. They were really shy. And then once they got started, you know what they said? They said, not only was this fun, I feel good about what I'm doing. And when I heard that, that made all of the planning, the late nights, all worth it. If you know that you have something in your house, like some shoes, some clothes you don't wear, just go out and just go help because it's, it's good karma and you shouldn't really do it because you want something out of it. Just do it because that's the right thing to do. It is an, a phenomenal feeling when you can help others who are less fortunate than you. And it's a phenomenal feeling when you come and meet new people just like you who look like you, who want to do the same things that you're doing. Because sometimes you feel like, I don't know them. I don't want to go there. I don't want to be with them. But you end up meeting new friends, making connections, and in a safe space. Please help the poor and just like try not to be mean, like not bullying. If it was them in need, then they would probably want somebody to be out here helping them. So they should really get out here. To, to all the teens out there, you know you need your community service hours, but it's also something more important than that. And it's to actually give back to your community. You are our future. And I think it's important for you guys to be out here on the ground, running, giving back to your community, because we're going to uplift you as well.